All right, this video is going to be a quick one. This is for Mr. Lee in New Jersey. So he ordered a Zitagi MB plus five. This is the six pin version. So I just got a shipment of these in. He's the first one to get one. And I noticed that they put some new knobs on it. So that looks actually looks nicer, looks better than the other knobs that were on the other ones. So I do like these knobs, they look a little more fancy. Although it's still the same potentiometer, everything is the same. Um, they are a little, you know, it's not like a very like solid mechanical, like they do have a little play to them, but you know, if you're gentle with them, you can't just grab this thing and just rip on it. You know, it's, it's not a, um, like a steel clad uh, potentiometer in there you know everything is built a certain way these days so we have to work with what they give us but it does move very nice very freely you know just, you can't just grab it and clunk away like you would on like an old channel selector on a cobra or something you have to be kind of gentle and just take care of it and uh, this is your microphone gain this is your tone i find that anything over about two for my voice is kind of overkill on the highs I actually like about one. So this mic is wired directly for President, six pin radios for any tone, quad six, uh, CRT 9900, uh, I guess for you guys in Spain and some parts of Europe, Dynascan 10M66, any other variant of the AT6666 uh, also would be on my microphone test here, you see it says Magnum. Magnum um, 257, 257 HP, those kind of radios, it will work plug and play with those. Unit and Bearcat 980, 880, it will work plug and play with um, various President models that have the six pin as well. So that, that's basically it. Um, they sound really nice. It's it's a close talking mic. It's not a mic that you can just like <clears throat> lean back in the chair and grab the PTT and expect to you know talk. This is meant for a desk mic is meant for close talking. So you're talking six inches away or something. It's going to work much much better. Um, if you're running talk back or something, you are going to squeal. So the amplifier on this is quite strong. So I'd recommend if, you know, that's something that you run, <clears throat> you're going to have to uh, probably turn it off or turn it down or something. So and that's the only, only other thing I would recommend. Otherwise, they sound really nice. So we'll try to give a brief demonstration, although it's not going to be the best. Because as we all know, um, these will squeal. This has a speaker in the front. Try to keep the volume at a, a decent level here and let's just see what happens. I'm not promising it won't squeal, so just keep that in mind. You might want to turn your volume down on your phone or television, however you're watching. So one, two, one, two, there we go. Well, it's not squealing, so um, it's on the verge of squealing, but anyhow, this is the volume at about four and I'm talking into the microphone and uh, yeah, it's on the verge of squealing anyways, but uh, the tone is at one. This is actually this is actually zero right here. I actually like it at zero. So this is uh, two right here on the tone. So this is two on the tone. You can hear how the highs really come out. And I'm not a big person. I don't need a lot of highs in my voice. So I, I don't really care for that. This is at, this is at five. So this is at five. You can really hear the highs come out now. And then this would be at 10. This is just way too much high. So this is at 10 right here. So you must have to have a very deep voice to want to run it up that high. So I like it all the way down. So I like it about here. It's very uh, natural sounding, minus the dogs barking and uh, minus the squeal. So we probably are getting UPS now. Uh, my power supply is almost here from my friend. So appreciate you sending me that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, not gonna bore you guys with the whole uh, nine yards, but they're good looking mics. When you speak into the mic, you have this meter here. Just one second. All right, so I'll just show that meter if I can. So you also have a PTT lock, so you can press the PTT. You can see it goes into TX, it goes into RX. I don't know if Unit and Bearcat requires that for sound out of the speaker, but if it does, it will work. 
Um, so PTT lock. So when I speak into the mic, you can see that the meter does uh, show some some level, and actually we're kind of, uh, I guess in know that that red would be like distortion or over 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 voice. You want to kind of stay right around where the black is, you know, around the one or something. But I mean, it's just relative. It don't don't consider this like any high quality or anything. It's just a relative. You can see as I back away. If I turn the mic gain up to 10, I guess you can sit a ways back and uh, it's still going to pick up quite well, I guess. I don't recommend that because everybody's going to hear, um, you know, your television in the background or whatever else you got going on. If you got fans running or, or you know, whatever you got going on, they're going to hear it. So I usually run mine about six or so and then I, I talk kind of six inches away or something so gives you a nice uh, good level there maybe even less so maybe about five or so one two three four check check hello so that's pretty much it for that as far as the bottom and then when you're done you just press the ptt and slide it over with your finger and it unkeys as far as the bottom goes there is a little spot here for a battery I close that off and I never use it. They leave it open out of the box because they, they expect you to put a battery in down there. It's much easier to take off four screws out and just put the battery in yourself and then put the, the bottom plate back on and screw the screws in. And I've already put a battery in here for you, Mr. Lee, so you'll be all set there. Brand new battery um, should last you a while unless... For whatever reason, if if you forget and you leave this PTT unlocked, then yeah, the battery will die. It's gonna it's gonna suck uh, voltage off just because it's engaged. But as long as you don't leave the PTT lock on, you should be all set. All right, everybody, that's the uh, six pin variant here, the MB plus five. I'm actually out of stock on the four pin, so uh, I may try to get some more of those on the next go around. I'm getting kind of low on the KPO mics as well. I have a sale on the website, so if anybody's interested on those, I have a, a good deal on those right now to sell off the remainder. And then I should be getting some more of those probably in the summer. And I'm told that they're going to have a new board in them. It's going to be an SMD board, so I'm curious to see uh, the improvements there with that. It probably will work just as well. They're telling me that it's going to sound the same. Everything's going to be the same, just SMD, so... That's going to be cool, and uh, maybe at that time we'll see how it's going with the Zutegas, and if there's any four pins available, maybe I'll get some more four pins. So these do quite well for me. Um, everybody seems to be really happy with them. They're nice sounding mic. It's not an Aesthetic. It's not a D104. It's a different style mic, but they still sound really good. So that's it. Seven three.